Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy. Welcome to another video in our continuing series of education brought to you by Jatai. For more information on Jatai Academy and to subscribe to this video series, visit us online at jatai.net on the web. Welcome to April 2019. April 22nd is Earth Day. And consistent with the Earth Day theme of environmental awareness and environmental friendliness, the question we're going to address in today's video is, how can my barbershop or hair salon go a little greener? How can I be a little more environmentally friendly? And the good news is that generally speaking, the beauty and barber business isn't really a negatively impacting environmental business to begin with. You know, we're not drilling oil and we're not manufacturing filthy things and, you know, we're generally pretty clean to begin with, but that doesn't mean there aren't a few great tips and tricks, things you can do not only to go a little greener, but to sell or market being a little greener to your customers. You know, today there are many clients that are very concerned with green initiatives and ways that you can demonstrate a sense of green awareness will be good for business. So let's take a look at a couple things on the list. Number one, for those of you that do hair color, especially foiling, all of that aluminum foil can be rinsed and recycled. Now, one of the rinsing issues is how much clean water are we using? And use of water is an area where salons can be a little more conservative with how they run large quantities of fresh water. But number one, that foil can be recycled. Number two, you can consider, are there foil alternatives? There are paper products that are biodegradable and some of which can be much less environmentally impact than foil in the first place. Another great area for savings for the environment for your salon is refilling retail bottles. If you're selling take-home hair care products in bottles, and we used to do this back in the day in my salon, we had gallons with pumps of some of the most popular products and we offered an incentive, say a small discount for clients who would bring back to the salon their empty or nearly empty bottles to be refilled from a pump. Therefore, we were introducing less plastic waste into the consumption stream and reducing landfill content and reducing the use of plastic bottles. Another great idea in that regard, and I've always loved this idea for many reasons in the shop, is to have in your front or waiting area a recycling bin. Whether that recycling bin is promoted for empty hair care product packaging, a client brings their empty bottle back for a small discount, 5% off if you bring us your empty, and we chuck the empty in the bin, that bin becomes a high visibility reminder of our business's recycling activity, or whether the bin is simply there for people's soda cans and plastic water bottles and even uh, cardboard co coffee cups. There's plenty of things we use in the salon that can go in the bin. Now, this was the case when I had my salon that in my community, commercial addresses did not have curbside recycling pickup. We only had curbside recycling pickup in residential areas. So what I used to do is when the bin was full, it went in the car, it went to my house and it went with my curbside pickup every couple of weeks as necessary, but just something to keep in mind. Uh, the next item on the list is the never ending debate in the beauty and barber industry of paper versus cloth for towel usage. The folks that manufacture paper, the neck strips and the wubby towels, and I know that's a brand name, and all of those things like that will tell you that paper is more environmentally friendly because it is thrown away, it biodegrades, we don't have accumulated dirty linens and we don't have the water usage for laundering and we don't have the soaps and detergents going into the water cycle. That's their argument. The towel folks will tell you we're not killing trees and we don't have all the chemical paper processing and we're not fouling water systems with all of what goes on in paper manufacturing. I don't know the bottom line. I don't know which is better, paper or cloth for towels in the professional beauty industry. But what I will suggest is ask some questions of your vendors, do a little bit of learning, maybe do a little looking on the web, and maybe even in some parts of the country, these answers are different or even around the world in terms of what lessens its environmental impact. Last on the list to be earth conscious is this. If you cannot find good ways, or if you are already really, really good about caring for your environment and your community, and you can't seem to find enough good ways to reuse, recycle, or reduce your impact, 
do what many, many industries do and trade in carbon credits. And what I mean by that is use some of the profits of your business to make conscious charitable donations to environmental organizations and environmental charities, one that you feel strongly about that have value in your community in exchange for the impact that you make in the form of what we'll call like carbon credits like they do in manufacturing and in the auto industry. That's a wonderful way to demonstrate environmental activism and environmental positivity and do good for your area and your community. So those are some great tips with Earth Day in mind that I think can be valuable for you and your business. Couple of reminders, end of the month, Nashville, Tennessee, Jatai will be there with a show. Um, and then we've got some specials. We've got uh, for April, 25% off texturizing razors, 10% off texturizing blades, um, bonus value pack, 12% off three packs of standard blades and the disposal case on the Feather Freestyle Razor. Uh, also the R-Type, 15% off three pack on the R-Type, the more aggressive, less guarded freestyle haircutting blade that many people know and love. Um, and there's a deal there with a, a two ounce blade glide. Lastly, 15% uh, off on switch blade shears and blades through the end of the month at Jatai.net. Thanks for watching here. Visit us at Jatai.net to subscribe to Jatai Academy and visit me online at IvanZoot.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.